So the very first thing I'm thinking about in this game, guys, is not to let this game go on too long. You have your team relies heavily on AD damage, and you're going tank a Moomoo. So you need to win this game by 25 minutes to 30 minutes at bet at worst. The sooner, the better. First dragon on the map is Inferno, so we need to keep that in mind, guys, while we start giving our advice. We're gonna go ahead and blind ourselves to only see what he sees, and let's get started. Honey, start the timer. So, very first thing we have to go off the bat here, Crimson, is looking for opportunities to go ahead and get your team ahead. So, first things first, your Yasuo is definitely a good condition to play off of early. He's against a Kassadin, so you definitely want to think, alright, I want to gain Kassadin pre-6 as often as possible. First things first, this ward is horrible. This ward only tells you after they start an invade. As always, I recommend, start, you know, stay right here. If you stand right here, they cannot invade you from this side of the river. They cannot invade you on this side of the river and pick you off. Secondly, by the time you get to this bush, after coming up here to ward and then going down, they're already in the bush and they can 100% cheese you early. So this, this only protects you from the slowest invades possible. So right off the bat, so right off the bat, guys, you, you're losing precious time energy. See, your Ezreal was watching bot lane try for you, so you were in no danger. You wasted a ward here by being too zealous. Secondly, you need to accommodate and understand where you're going. So you know you're gonna, you want to start ganking mid as soon as possible. So what I'm thinking is red, krug, raptors, gank mid, and then use that to go straight to your blue. So remember, against Mundo Jungle, here's the thing. Against Mundo Jungle, you cannot outclear him, so you need to outgank him. You need to have a lot of pressure this game. You're letting your poppy take a lot of damage. Wait, what did you start with? Oh, God. Dude, no. You start W. By the way, um, if you're on jungle, you start W. W is your first clear spell, not E. W. W, W, W. Okay, um, where... God's green earth, where are you going? Reference my Moo Moo Guide, Crimson. I haven't. Oh, wait, I don't have that out yet. Shit. It's done, but it's not out. Alright, so here you go. Spoilers! You need to you need to think about where you're going. So right off the bat, you see see how Yasuo's pushed in, right? You need to take a look at this lane, Crimson, and say, ask yourself, if I was Mundo, would I gank this? If the answer is yes, you need to think, okay, I need to be in position to try to counter this. Silver. I don't know, but I'm telling you. So right here, this is good. You're hovering. If you had a ward, this would be a good time to put a ward down. Oh, go yeah. Um, I wouldn't. Oh god. Not bad. Fight it. Fight it. Fight it. Fight it. Fight it. Yeah, good. Fight. Fight. There you go. Good job. Back off. This is actually that was a really good play. Um, you didn't need to burn your flash. What I would have done, clear the camp. I would have cleared some of the camp, but here's the problem. Here's the problem with that play. Your flash or Mundo's flash was not worth it. While it, you did good with the resources you had, what you should have done is Red Krug's Raptors so you can get level 3. If you wanted to invade Mundo, you should have invaded him at his blue buff or something of that sort. Yeah, you, yeah, but it's fine. It happens. So now at this point, what you need to do is you need to start farming. Get your level 3. And, okay, understand this. So, you know Mundo cleared his topside jungle. So, you know top scuttle is all, like, 90% secured for you, okay? So, what you need to do is clear blue, clear gromp, clear wolves, and then go for scuttle. Scuttle's not going anywhere for a little bit. Mundo going for this scuttle is so out of position that even if you don't get scuttled by doing blue gromp wolves, you're going to be ahead because you're going to get more overall farm. So, here's the thing. So, you take blue, and you see an opportunity to go gank top. This is good. Hold your Q. I would have held your Q just a little bit longer just to make sure you get in range. Because you don't know if he has flash. But you, luckily for you, you make a good kill. So go get the Scuttle since you're in the area. And what you want to do here is if you, you're you about to have a ward. So what you're going to do here is you're going to you're gonna kill the Scuttle and you're going to ward right here. This ward's for your mid laner, but also for you. This fight in the middle does not matter. Finish doing what you're doing. You're good to go. This fight in the middle does not matter and see look there you go we're gonna go ahead and punch the top lane again good 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 
Good. Good. Orb walking. Good orb walking. Good. Good. All right. Stay right there in the. I'll stay right there in the bush. Stay right here. Yep. Wait till your Q comes back up and go kill him again. Good. Back off. Okay, you're done. You're spending too much time up here at this point. You're spending way too much time. You're spending way too much time. You're you're eating up NASA's XP at this point. Stop this. You're spending way too much time. So, at this point, yeah. See, you kind of wander around aimlessly. What, don't. Why are you in this fight? Yasuo cannot help you. Look how low he is. So you get killed here. You get ran down. So you just made a bad problem worse. Now Yasuo follows you because he's, he's like, oh god, I gotta save you. And now he's out of position. But now, now Nasus is out of position because he's wasting time. Oh my god, they actually turned that. Sad. It worked out in the end for you, but you have given Cassidy a kill. Again. So the problem here is you didn't need to be there. You needed to reset. You need to farm. You need to get level 6. Amumu's level 6 is so strong. Secondly, you're trying to force a gank when Yasuo is already at half health. Look at this. Kassin, the end of that fight, while yes, you guys traded 2 for 2, Kassin has 2 kills now. That's a bad thing. Kassin is one of, is their win condition. Kassin and Triss are their win conditions. You cannot give those champions kills. So right here, you're already putting your team at a disadvantage. Because you're saying, no dice, friend. And secondly, you're playing right into Mundo's hands. Jungle Mundo is I I clear I get six fast, and you're just saying eh, I'll clear maybe eventually. So in this problem right here, not having Q, you can't tower dive this Cassin. You can absolutely tower dive this Cassin. If you Q'd him while Yasuo has his this up, their tornado up, you kill him right here. You killed him right here. If you play, but you look, you're playing so scared. You're respecting Cassin like he's level six. Stun him so your Yasuo can go in for the ult kill. Sorry, he didn't even have ult. Yeah, that's true. He didn't even have ult. Doesn't fucking matter. You still probably kill him. Look, 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 look. Hold on. This guy has how much? 36 armor? 36 armor. 36 armor. Your Yasuo will shred him up. And remember, once he hits level 6, that's when you can no longer gank cast it in. You need to punish it. You need to punish this gameplay. Mundo, on the other hand, is punishing you, Crimson, because he's constantly just power farming, and then he's ganking your Yasuo, and you're not here to counter gank this. So, what you need to learn from this game is you need to understand win conditions. Right now, you're not playing to win conditions at all. You're not. So, the problem is, is that by not playing to your win condition... You are allowing Mundo to prevent your win condition, which is your Yasuo getting fed. You need your Yasuo to be strong. So, you've been playing off of Nasus, and look, Nasus, here's the thing. Nasus will do just fine if you don't camp for him. That first game, great. That second game, super. The problem is, you stayed there so long, you ate up all of his XP. Even, like, look, he's level 6 to Malphite's level 8. That is god-awful. Because you ganked, and then you sat in his lane for five years, taking up all his XP. Yeah, you definitely jerked off too much. Remember, I told you, you need to be ganking, 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 and ganking some more. So, like, now, by the time you got around to it, this is already, this is long gone. Um, honestly, how much mana? You, yeah, you used up all your mana on your W. Secondly, um, max E, it's E, Q, then W, brother. E, Q, W. Or E, W, Q. If you're against a lot of tanky targets. So, secondly, this Infernal Dragon, you should be forcing this shit. You should. You should absolutely be looking for an opportunity to force this shit as soon as possible. Right now, alright, so right now, as we're wrapping up the game, here's the thing. Your bot lane is fed off their asses, and your mid's fed, so you know what you should do? You should go with your teammates and look for an opportunity to punish the enemy team. Look, 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 look. Zero, two, Triss. One, two, one, Thresh. You could absolutely be forcing Dragon with them, but you don't. And the longer the Dragon's on the map, the more likely you're risking the opportunities for the enemy team to throw it around. So, hey, Crimson, to get to improve on the game, here's my recommendations to you. Number one, 
be have a game plan from the get, get go. This game, you clearly didn't have a game plan. Oh, my kind of shot's fine. In this game, you didn't have a game plan. You kind of wandered around. Absolutely no, like listen. You had no game plan, and it showed by your actions. You didn't. Ha you didn't really move with purpose. You kind of just like you cleared a camp, and then you're like, okay, what do I do next? So here's my recommendation to you. First things first. Every game, look at your team composition and analyze two things. Number one, what's my team's win condition? Number two, what's my enemy team's win condition? And then ask yourself, of these two win conditions, which one stops the other? An example, if the win condition of your team is Zed, but your, your carry is somebody who can build Hourglass, then preventing Zed from getting fed isn't that big of a deal because your, your carry is going to stop Zed from carrying. So, a good example is, let's say the enemy team has mm, mm, Jinx. Let's say Jinx, right? Let's say Jinx. And their support is, um, let's say Sona. Let's say Sona. So, Jinx, Sona, right? If your top lane is Jax, he's your win condition. Because if he gets fed, he's going to kill Jinx. Whether she's 0 and 5 or 5 and 0, she will. he will kill Jinx. And Stona can't peel them off. So if it's Fiora top, uh, Yasuo mid, Jinx bot lane, and uh, Jungle Master Yi, Jax is definitely carrying that game. So you want, so you don't care if Jinx is their win condition. Because you're like, okay, that's fine. Jinx fed, I don't give a shit. Jax will kill her. So what you're looking for is, what is your goals to prevent the enemy team from getting a snowball lead? So you can punish them and capitalize on their mistakes. So my recommendation, get get yourself very familiar, Crimson, with enemy team compositions and your compositions. Build out a game plan and say, okay, what is my win condition and what do I need to play to it? As you get better at making win conditions, then you can start saying, what's the enemy team's win condition and how do I counter that? And from there... It would still count it, though. He wasn't sub before, though. So, work on work on those things. Second thing, once you work on win conditions, work on being adaptable. You should have noticed your eight bot lane was getting fed. You should have started playing to them. Uh, Oi. Hello there. Hello there, love. So, first things first, where are the game? What time? Uh, I would like to see... Uh, for starters, some of the claim in the early game, and then a bit later into the game, how I do with my late. Alright, first, certainly, tell me when you want to get out of the early game clear, okay? Sure. Alright, and three, two, one, and... Three... Three, two, one, and begin. Alright, so, first things first, since you're doing what I do in Phoenix Dance, you need to understand that your job is to... Spam R, like, why aren't you spamming R right now? Your, half of your damage is over time, so please activate R as often as possible, okay? Okay. Alright, so you should get ready for an R to maintain monkey's agility. Good. Put your damage on the big one. That was a bad auto attack. I think even you realized that. Uh, right. yeah. Good, good angle. You're kind of burning a lot of auto attacks here, you know that, right? So you yeah, have to cut down your movements. You're being you're moving way too much, and this is causing move auto attacks. Second, when you're clearing this camp as Phoenix, move your auto attacks between the two. Okay. Remember, your optimal goal is to make these two monsters spawn at the same exact time, so that we can clear both of them. When you're watching me clear this camp, you'll notice I'm shifting my auto attacks between the two. Two reasons: one, to get talisman proc on both of them, and two, for your red buff burn to burn both of them. Okay. Yeah. Also, you should be attacking the big one. There you go. Alright, or block your way to the top lane. That's pretty good. Let's speed it up. Alright, W here. W here. R here. Build up your passive. You're not taking advantage. You're using too much of your Phoenix R cone and not enough of your actual Phoenix. Alright, so you're doing yeah, my okay. double clear. See there you go. Good. You copy that for me. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> it's the only trick Phoenix has. 
Alright. Alright, so right here, you need to, uh, you need, need to back. There's nothing for you to do. You can't go bot, you can't go... Yeah, I, I do realize that. Then why, you're realizing it five seconds late. Yeah, I realize it now. <laughs> There's no way you help this fight. There's no way this fight goes well for either of you. You just wasted about a minute, just an FYI. So here's the problem. How do you back already? You back, you get a blue buff, and you come back top lane, okay? So what you do... One, why'd you buy that and not a blue smite? Blue smite and a war is what I buy here. Aether Wisp doesn't help you. Nowhere does it help you in this fight right now. Your team does not scale with auto attacks, okay? So okay. going art and sensor rush is a bad idea. Secondly, where are you running off to bot lane? I don't remember. I think I was pretty focused on trying to help down there. Because both my mid lane and bot lane were tilted and it was not in there. Yeah, but the problem is. You're playing Phoenix Dance and Kaisa's not there. So, since you have Aether Wisp. Since you have Aether Wisp, you don't have a smite to slow him down. Alright, so what you should do here, honest to god, is, yeah, run like hell. Get the hell out of there. You, there's no reason for you to push it and you need to reset. You do. Yeah, I was going down there to watch the dragon just in case. That's fine. Alright, so what should you do right now? Uh, probably get my smite. Yeah, but f f do a full clear first. Why are you going for this? Yeah. Why are you going for this? This is so unnecessarily risky for you. Your top lane has low prio. They also have ghost heal. Your mid lane doesn't have prio, and it's a pantheon. You will lose this fight, and you could die. You got lucky. You got lucky he didn't go for that immediately, okay? Lucky is just good. All right, so you want to finish this camp, and what you want to do is you're going to back in the bush right above you, so that way you can back near him. The secret here is you're looking to say, all right, I'm going to protect Pantheon. I'm going to protect Gragas. No, 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 no. Where are you going? I don't remember. <laughs> it, you just, like, randomly... Back! Oh, my goodness, brother. You got 12k. That's a smite. That's he has more. goblin tag on op.gg. <laughs> Goblin. Yeah, it's mainly you, you hold on to your goals a lot, like a certain amount for a long time. I'm not honestly surprised. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it... Um, why didn't you go Phoenix Dance? Why did you go to the Tiger? Oh, you're holding the lane. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so yeah, here's the problem. You should have backed by now. Yeah. If you back, you could have easily been here two v two v one this with Zix. Two v two this with Zix. So, number one is, you, by not backing, you're so weak. Like, look, you're gonna be level six. You could absolutely still win this, but you're so damn weak. Um, by the way, just go yeah. and steal that. Yeah, I fucked this up big time. Um, after this fight, just jump, uh, like, halfway through it again. Alright. Good. W. E. R. I would have given that kill to Kaisa. Legit. I'm a goblin. You should have given the kill to Kaisa. Alright, so now that you finally backed, two years late, I'm gonna guess you're gonna get an Ardent and a Blue Smite, okay? So what do you need to do right now? What's the next, what's the, since you lost a dragon, fine. What do you need to do to counter, to counter the balance scales? Probably get the other objective. Yep, get Rip Herald, take it bot lane. Cause right now, look at look at your win condition. Is top lane your win condition? I reckon not. Mid? Um, uh, not really. <laughs> Bot lane? Hmm. It depends. They were pretty tilted, and they're pretty far behind, so it was a bit tough. Make them feel better. You know what makes people feel better? Getting camped. When the camp is for them. Um, uh, just jump halfway through the game at this point. There's right, where? not a lot to see. Right here? Yeah, I do that. Okay, so let's see what's happening. This time you got an ocean dragon, and you still haven't opened up bot lane. Top lane got opened up, and mid lane got opened up. All right, so you're gonna force this infernal dragon. 
why are you enforcing this infernal drag? So let's look at your vision for a moment. First off, you should be here for your progress. That's number one. Number two, you shouldn't be. You both of you should be forcing shit because your half your team isn't even here. Burn the blast gun and get the hell uh, out. Of there. Burn the blast gun and get the hell out of there. I have pretty much all the kills. But yeah, it, it doesn't just... matter. Your team, you need your teammates there as a meat shield, brother. Secondly, your build bad. Why do you go try force? <laughs> I'm trying out. It's a testing thing. Okay, it works. Here, here's the test. And had you got IBG, you kick at, you kick way more ass here. It's a, it's a decent carrying build, actually. It, okay, you know what else carries? Being so unkillable that they, that they have to spend all their resources trying to kill you. And you still kill them, by the way. Because here's the, here's the thing. Lots of good damage your Triforce is doing right now. Right? Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of damage is doing. No, it's not. It's not. So right now, do a full clear. I, do a full clear. Like, you got all these camps. Where, where are you spinning? Dead man's? Okay, you got dead man. So what you should be doing here You're fed. You know what you should do? Invade invade right now invade go find go find some asses go find skirmishes to fight not this this is bad Secondly, you better have a effing sweeper. You don't have a sweeper So one of the things you need to do if you're this fed you should have sweeper so you can kill deny the enemy vision So that they have to face check into you they face check into you you're gonna kill them All right Oh, if he, yeah, if he had Iceborne Gauntlet, he can't walk away that easily. You know that, right? Yeah, he still can. I'm pretty fast. Oh, wait, <laughs> you just, you're lucky that Zoe's an idiot and didn't realize she needs to go get the Flash. Yeah, she's heading there now. <laughs> it's okay, half a second. Okay, so what do you do now? What should you do now, right now? Um, <laughs> Probably push stuff up. What, I, should, what should you do right now? I think I dive Deluxe. What do you? What should you do? Uh, probably Baron. <laughs> Why should you do Baron? Um, cause they have two down. Yeah. What else? Who's down? Oh, uh, that's hard seeing. It's pretty. The, their I most fed. Their oh, most fed person is dead right now. This is your perfect opportunity to go ahead and force Baron. Even and here's the thing: does forcing Baron mean you have to kill Baron? Ah, oh, it's just forcing a fight. Yeah, it's just doing something to get the enemy team to force you to react to you. So, the problem here is you didn't aggressively tell your team to force Baron. Right now, you're literally standing here doing nothing. You made a pick and you got nothing out of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, if anything, you lost a tower somehow. So I'm more impressed you managed to do that. All right. Going for this dive is a really bad idea. Your aftershock is gone, and you're taking the tower. Remember, your life is worth way more than anybody else on this entire team. It worked out for you, but you have to be really careful. Because if you get killed, you give a very big bounty. When you're carrying, you have to protect your bounty like it's di like it's diamonds, okay? Yeah, I, I don't die this game. Besides that one other. Yeah, you're just sidestepping, but you're but here's the problem. You guys are trading kills for kills, and guess what? You have all your team's gold. Your team trading kills for kills means the enemy team is getting strong enough to kill your team. Remember, the problem isn't them killing you, it's you killing getting killed by them. So the problem is right now is that you're not pushing your advantage early enough. So here's here's the thing, Bull Deer. Number one, early game. Stop wasting so much time. Back yeah, decisively. Okay. Back. Have a play. Like if with that clear, you should after you cleared scuttle, you should have backed right then and there. Grab blue smite. Grab a grab some boots and go out. You could have absolutely done all the ganking. You you could have done everything you did with aether wisp, but with blue smite and done much better. Secondly, in the late game, if you pick two of the strongest carries and without any casualties of your team, go for Baron. You could have absolutely forced Baron, and that was going to force Lux, Pantheon, and Zoe into, uh, sorry, Lux, Pantheon, and Akali into a bad situation where either they fight you for it or they die. Yeah, okay. They, uh, they, they got to try. They got to do something. And there's the thing. What's Lux going to be thinking about? She's going to be thinking about, all right, I better watch out for these bushes so I can make sure I can grab a pick. No, she's like, oh my god, I got to get, I try to snipe this Baron with my ultimate. And that's the thing. She's going to be so zeroed in on that one task 
you can have your teammates flank her with Gragas, catch her out, Kaisa ult onto Lux, kills her. Now that you got another big bounty secured for your team, and then you snowball the game from there. Yeah, because you're not being decisive, since you're not making decisive action, you're, t you're just pretty much saying this. All right, we're even in score. I'm fed. Coin flip time. <laughs> heads, heads, tails. Oh, we just lost Baron. When you're fed, it is your job to direct your team, do what you need to do, and make forceful plays. How come? So, there's your um, lesson. Uh, optimize your early game clear. Optimize your early game time fishing, and for God's sakes, back some time. <laughs> yeah, I have to admit, I was playing with friends, so I was I I halfway drunk and just chilling. Hey, I don't know. I have, I've tried to get drunk once. Couldn't do it. All right. You have a good time, brother. Yeah, see ya, man. See ya. All right, so while we're loading up the game, this is going to be free advice. So, with Evelyn, Evelyn early game, you have to understand... You don't do anything early game. Like that's kind of your your weak. Your weakness is your early game is absolutely garbage. So what you need to understand is it's okay to have a crappy early game. Here's the thing. If you can get to halfway through the game and you haven't run it down, then you've done your job. But let's go ahead and watch your early game, especially your pre-six, and let's see if we can find some opportunities for you to uh, increase some LP. First off, let's go ahead and turn into red side, and let's get to jump to you. All right, so first things first guys, let's go ahead and look So one of the first things that you always want to do monster is you're gonna look for opportunities to move out on the map and cover your entrances Here's the thing the more you afk like this the more likely you're gonna get you or your teammates are gonna get caught in games so right here you're gonna want to go ahead and Hold up let, before I get started, let me let me check something. Something seems off to me. I, I need to check it real, real quick. Mmm. Because I'm just... That just feels so wrong. Yeah, that's why. Uh, number one, you don't start your W. I was really sure I was wrong with that. Number one, you don't start your W. Because here's the thing. You have no way to optimize your w with your first clear you want to start with q because q gives you 25 damage and then it gives you an additional so it gives you 30 damage and then it gives you an additional 15 15 15 so it gives you 30 15 30 60 75 damage this gives you 75 damage oh wait wait, wait hold on let me see oh wow no it actually does more it does 30 damage and then 30 damage for the next three hits. And then it does an additional 30 damage. You do over 100 damage off your Q that has an 8 second cooldown. It's the last hit. Yeah. And also, it gets 50% of your hate spikes cooldown on the last hit of monster. So, first thing you want to do, Monster Kai, get Q first. Q first. Always Q first. All right, honey, go ahead and start the timer and we will get started. So the very first thing that you did wrong is you maxed up your Q. You got your W first. It's going to be Q, W, and E, okay? W gives you good if you can charm your monster. Against monster, it deals a lot of damage, and the charm duration is for two seconds. So you want to make sure you're optimizing your clear with that in mind. Secondly, never watch your blue buffs. So what you want to do is you want to be positioned right here. Right here, so that way you can check your invades. Monster Kai. If the enemy team, which by the way, Wuteric, they absolutely can invade you. If the enemy team was to invade through here, with their team, Ari has charm, Tarek has stun. By the time they're on top of you, you have never seen them because you're standing here. If you have to stand here, instruct your ADC to watch this jungle entrance from here. And then you're going to watch the jungle entrance from here. This allows you a good uh, line of sights. Hmm? Hmm? Is there? Do you guys hear an echo? I stopped it. Uh, maybe because you hear me twice, honey. I mean, I can hear you here, but uh, I'm in the stream. I don't know. Okay, so as we're going on, one of the main things, monster, is you need to make sure you're optimizing proper jungle start clears and watching your lanes. Um, definitely, I would recommend looking into my Udir guide. I recommend a couple spots you can stand in the early game as well. 
So, see, your first clear is so slow because all you have one ability, you use it, and then you're done. Like, look at this. You're clearing very slow. You're kind of stuck. You're not doing any damage. Start Q, you're going to see a definite uptick, uptick in your clear speed. Secondly, as Evelyn, don't go for Bromp. What you want to do is you want to do blue, go to wolves. Hate Spike is an AoE ability, so what you want to do to optimize your clear spit path is optimize an AoE clear camps. Gromp is going to tear you apart and you're watch, watch this. Since you gotta wait for your charm, you get your charm off, and then look. Now he's just gonna proceed to beat the crap out of you. There we go. So now you're at under half health. Now the problem here is you're against Mashi. Mashi finds you in the jungle, he's gonna absolutely clear you. So again, so alright, so what you need to do here. Make sure, look at, this is why your clears are slow. Look at this. You're not optimizing your Qs. You're not optimizing your Qs. There you go. You need to make sure your Qs hit all targets. You need to kite your camps. Because if you're not kiting your camps, it's going to make your clear artificially slow. So, Monster Guy, what I'd definitely recommend, and I'll actually show you guys after this game. We don't have another one in queue, right? No. Yeah, I'm going to show you after this game just to give you a little bit more instructions. So, you're skipping your AoE camps and focusing on single target camps. So, what ends up happening is your clear is slower. And you're lower in health. So right here, you're getting your clear off, but you're taking so much damage because you're stuck in melee range of the enemy camp, and you're not optimizing Talisman Burn. Talisman Burn is your secret to good success, and optimizing your Q clear is as well. So right here, you really, you do make the good path. This is good passing right now, where you should go for the scuttle. Um, I would put the ward not here, but right here. Because you need to know if the enemy jungler is coming to you. Remember, as Evelyn, you do not want to pick an early fight if you can get away with it. So what you want to do is walk the scuttle. Yeah, Alright, you're walking the scuttle. I think you're at least trying to walk the scuttle. I don't know where it's... Oh yeah, it's walking to you because it's charm. Alright, so right here, this is a good gank opportunity. Go gank this. Gank this, okay? Wait. Wait. Alright, he just W'd. Go, go in. Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. Go in. All right, you you why you queued? Why did you queue so early? So what you want to do? Yeah, you definitely messed up. So here's how you play this better. This is how you play this better. Watch, this is easy. You got this. So by acknowledging you made a mistake, this is great. You understand? Okay, I can do this better next time. So this is what you want to do. So you acknowledge that the enemy the enemy top lane is an optimal gank. You see that the mini wave is really really big. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in. You see him push W. This means that right now, he only has his E and his Q. So, he's going to try to go for the damage on his on the ganker. So, you're going to walk in. You're going to W him right about now. And then, you're going to walk up to him. Walk up to him. Because remember, your charm on your cha on your champion get, needs to only be hit by an, ab an ability or a basic attack. So, why go for the range charm if you don't need to? Walk up to him. Make sure you're in range to hit him with your Q or your E. Both of them are perfectly valuable options. <sighs> Alright. So what you're going to do here is you're going to look for an opportunity to get in close and charm him. But since you failed the gank, unfortunately what this means now is that you revealed yourself onto the camp. Monster Kai, when you've done this, you need to say, okay, I can't gank top lane. Top lane's at quarter health versus Pantheon at 75% health. I revealed myself. I'm Evelyn, my win conditions get to level 6. So what you want to do, go straight to Krug Camps. Go straight to Krug Camps and clear them right now. But right now, what you're doing instead is you're trying to answer a gank that's already done. Uh, your mid laner has already gotten out of that gank situation, so you don't need to be here. By going to Raptor Camp, here's the problem. Here's the problem. By going to Raptor Camp now, you have thrown off your camp's respawn cycles terribly. So this is what you should do. You go to clear Krugs, okay? Then you reset. Then when you reset, you're going to buy your first set of items. And then you're going to head towards Gromp. Gromp is going to respawn because you cleared Gromp already. Then you clear Wolves. Then you clear Raptors. Scuttle is going to be up. Or you go gank top. And then Krugs has just respawned. And then you clear that. So one of the things you always need to optimize is making sure that you're thinking more about your passing. See, now you walked all the way to top lane. Failed the gank. Walked all the way down to Raptors. And now, likely, you're going to go all the way to the Krug Camp. Another thing you also want to do is you want to optimize. 
you want to optimize more of using talisman burns because I see a lot of your why your clears are so slow is you're not optimizing your talisman burns and your Q clear is definitely going to use some work monster so after this game I will give you a kind of extension to show you how to do this clear so I can show you how you can speed up your clear and be way more successful so right here you're not you're not kiting the camp enough and that's why your clears feel so slow because like look see your Q's aren't being cast in a way that you optimize hitting as many targets as possible now see here look now you should back right now your Krug, your Gromp, and your Wolf Camps are so far out of your path. You are, I believe, 900, 1,100 gold. You're way, way too weak right now. You need to go spend some gold. Without a blue buff, without using, without having blue buff, you can't make prior play. So, like, right now, let's say, let's say Pantheon was in a gankable position right now. Because you haven't backed and gotten blue buff, your gank is super, super weak. So, you're running around the map a lot and not getting a lot done. So you need to be more effective on your efficiency so you can be able to scale to six. It doesn't matter going to level six is going to be your game plan in that game. But it does matter if you're not going to be doing anything about it. So in this game, you're spending all this time walking all the way here. And then you stand around. All right, and now you get the camp clear. And then, you know, it's just... Then you kind of sit here and you eat all this damage. So now you've used up your smite. And then you got your second smite. You're going to use this smite on this camp clear. I almost guarantee it. Oh, no. Maybe you don't. we will be smart. You shouldn't use your smite on this, by the way. Okay, good. So the problem is right here. Like, let's watch this bot lane. Right now, how do you back? How do you back when I told you to back? You could be ganking bot lane right now. You could have ganked bot lane by going around this. So how do you back when I told you? You could have gone here gone here and charmed the Tarek Brian, Brand and Kaisa and you just belt through his armor so you need to be able to think more actively about what you're plan planning and pathing in the early game it definitely shows that you're really playing in a mindset where you're not doing what you need to do to be efficient first off remember as Evelyn you are weakest when seeing levels 1 through 5 so your job is to avoid the enemy jungler. However, you can push overplayed champions like this Ari, the Pantheon, and the enemy Taric if you're able to watch cooldowns. That Pantheon play was a perfect opportunity for you to take advantage of an early game champion and capitalize on his mistake. By using his W on the enemy on the enemy on your laner, you're able to go in, get the charm off, and absolutely punish him. Since your laner doesn't have ignite, you can definitely call a Pantheon and have to recall. Even if you don't secure the kill on Pantheon, causing the recall while your Kale, who has teleport, recalls back in the lane, can absolutely shift the lane into your top laner's favor, allowing you to snowball the game. So, what I would definitely recommend is, as a monster, I'm going to show you and demonstrate a cool, perfectly how to do a good clear on Evelyn, so that way you can understand how you should better utilize the talisman and your Q to accelerate your growth. Secondly, after you, I showed you that, my next recommendation is definitely make sure you get control wards one of the things you're not optimizing as well is getting those early control wards so that way you can watch the enemy juggler and ensure you don't run into him as this is a master yi you definitely lucked out on that one but understand in games where you're going up against more aggressive junglers like Lee Sin, Elise, um, Kha'Zix and Rengar or other champions who are very strong in the early game they're going to punish you for this lack of vision don't make it a habit to not come back with control wards so you can watch out for yourself so here's the problem. The second problem with what we're talking about and what we're going to end this 10 minute session with Monster Kai is that right here, because of your clear path, look how your camps respond. Your Krugs respond and your Raptors respond, but you're all the way on the opposite side of the map. Now imagine, had you done the clear, I advised you where you did Krugs respawn, did Gromp, Wolves, Raptors, and then Krugs again. When Blue Buff respawned, you know what camp was going to respond with it? Gromp and Wolves. So you could have cleared three camps right here. Instead, all the camps that respawn are on the opposite side of the map. So the only thing you can do here is just go ahead and recall. But you don't do that. Instead, what you're going to do is you're going to do this where you end up wasting more time. You're going to go camp clear this camp. And look, you have 500 gold. You can get Aether Wisp. You can get an advantage to start rolling. If he got a blue buff, if he got a control ward, ward here or ward here. 
Literally, one of these two spots is great. Okay, ward here. Ward here. Or ward here. One and three can go 10 minutes plus without ever being touched. Two, burn this scurrying orb first and then put it down. And then you're generally be okay. And it'll last for like 10 minutes. Those are the optimal spots. So guys, if you're in queue, I'm going to ask you to put a small delay. We are going to actually do a demonstration clear for Monster Kai so we can give him a little bit more information. And I think, it, you know, if you guys ever ever curious to say, hey, Meta, you don't play Evelyn. How can he be giving advice on that? I'm going to show you. And while we're doing that, I'm going to open up um, Evelyn's rune so I can make sure I'm running an optimized set. So guys, I'm gonna do a clear on Evelyn and note this following information, okay guys? I have never played Evelyn. I played her maybe like five times tops. I have not played her at all in the jungle this season. So just gonna give you the, the guys that little heads up. Just so we are all clear. Now I'm gonna do the same exact clear he did. Sorry, I'm gonna start at the same buff he did, and that's all we're gonna I'm gonna copy off of him. So let's go ahead and grab this. And let's copy the most consistent rune set. Let's see, electrocute. I'm gonna just copy the first setup I see, man. Done. Do I have a skin on Evelyn? I really don't know. I have like random skins on random champions, guys. Okay, I don't. Sad face. She has a lot of nice skins. Alright, so Monster Kai, you still here, buddy? You better be, because you're getting... This is free. This is literally, like, super, super free, so you better be You better be here, buddy. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so the problem with your clears is you're not abusing enough of your Q. So, first things first, I'm going to give myself just, like, two minutes of training, because I need to at least know how this works. Let's see. No. And I just want just a long enough just so I can get an uh, understanding of this. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay, so this thing automatically targets the near start. Mm. Alright, let's reset the game and I understand now. Alright. Don't I have some might? Um, I have some might, you stupid game. The heck? Uh, hold on, guys. For some reason, the game doesn't realize I'm playing Evelyn with Smite. Okay. Right? Your game bro broke for me. That's not what I was... Again, that's not what I'm referring to, brother. No, guys. The scene's not broken. Um, I could not buy a uh, talisman. I'll show you how to do it, Monster Kai. Not a problem, but uh, unfortunately, I it took a talisman away from me, so... Kinda need talisman to demonstrate how to do no talisman. No talisman for you. Yeah, seriously, like Ryze, like no, you don't have smite. Uh, yeah, I do. I have smite. Gimme. Okay. All right. So this is the first. So here's the first thing. This is what you start off with. Just, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and smite this camp. Alright, here we go. Just 
There you go. Look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. That's how you get the angle. Watch that. Watch. Bam. That right there, Monster Guys, how you get the angles. You have to get them to all chase you in a straight line. So this camp right here, mark it. Mark it. Walk around him. Hit him. Chase. 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 Just like that. Get them to chase you. That's how you're going to get the angle every single time. W. I'm going to check this camp while I'm going to check here. Make sure I'm safe. Q. W. Q. Q. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Watch this. Monster Sky right here. Again, demonstrating how we're going to do this. Wait, did we get... When did we get this? Oh, yeah, because try yourself the Demon Shroud. Alright. So, again, coming up to this camp, you're going to do this. You don't want to hug the wall. See why? Look, I don't get vision until I'm right here, right? I want to get my vision as soon as possible. Bam. You see how I'm, always, I'm constantly moving? And you can even do that. You can even do that kind of clear. And look, look, look. So I clear these camps, right? I clear these camps. So Monster Kai, I've cleared these camps, right? I'm going to go ahead and go for the scuttle. Let's see. I have Pryo. So again, look, I did the exact same clear you did. So now I'm going to go ahead and go for the scuttle. All right. Uh, I see bot lane is gankable, so I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna go in the bot lane. Um, I see bot lane is gankable. Charmed. Get my combo off. Hold on. Ah uh, hell. All right, so then I reset, right? I I don't get the kill. I reset. At about 4 minutes and 30 seconds, I reset, I get this, and then I'm like, alright, I don't get, I can't, I don't want to get boots, I get a control ward. I'm going to actually buy the damn control ward. And I walk my way up to Gromp. Now I do my Gromp camp, right? I'm going to teleport there just to save time for the purpose of example. I mark my Gromp camp. There we go. And now look, my wolf camp starts respawning. Bam, I, I'm right here, I'm farming it again. And look at that. Bam. Just like that, man. That's how you get the camp clears. Watch. Again, going for the wide angle. Marked it. There. Bam. This camp's not up? Okay. Now my grot my Krugs respawn. Marked. Hit. Marked. Hit. Whack that one. Marked. And there we go, Monster Kai. That is the jungle clear, and that's how you need to be doing it. Do more kiting. Setting up your Q angles like that. 
Because this is what you're doing right now. This is what you're doing. This is why they're not, it's not working. Look, this is what you do. You see, it's really hard to get that angle there. It's really hard to get that angle. Because, Scotcho, the, I accidentally respawned them. That's why. But, like, yeah, see, like, this is what you do. Again, so this is how you're cleaning the camp. And this is why your angles look so hard. Because you're this close. Look, it's so hard to get that angle right. But, when you do this... Feels much better, doesn't it? Give it a couple of tries, Monster Kai. Let me know how it works out for you. And you should sub and make sure to hit that like button to brighten up our day. Don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. You can also click near me for YouTube suggestions. Or you can click near me for more meteor content. They come around for me. <laughs> Till next time, apprentices. Chowder! Chowder.